Radhikaya Itadale Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namun Namun By the causes mercy of Sri Gauranga, we Krishna. have come to this most beloved place in Vrindavan, the temple of Sisi Radha Madan Mohan. Before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in this world, Sri Advaita Acharya came to Vrindavan and was doing parikrama here. And he was doing bhajan beneath the tree, just at the bottom of the hill here. That place is called Advaita Vat. We'll go there next. And in a dream, while he was asleep, Krishna came to him and said, Oh, I am in the ground here, beneath the, this tree. Help, get me out. And Advaita Acharya woke up and began to move the earth beneath the tree. And there he discovered the deity of Madan Gopal, who had been established 5,000 years from before by Bhadranab, the great grandson of Krishna himself. And Advaita Acharya was very attached to him. When his mm, Bhajamanda Parakrama was finished, it was time for him to return to the Bengal. So on his way he went through Mathura. And Madan Gopal told him, I don't take me out of Brajamanda. <laughs> you can leave me here in Mathura with one Chaturvedi Brahmin named Purshottam Chaubey. So, uh, on his request, uh, Advaita Chara came to that Brahmin and gave the deity of Madan Gopal to him. So then years later, Sri Sanatan Goswami came to Brajimanda. And in a dream, Madan Gopal said, Oh, I am staying in the house of Chaturvedi Brahman in Mathura. You won't see me there. So, Sanatan Goswami went to the house of that uh, Brahman and he saw that Madan Gopal was not worshipped as a deity on the altar, but he was playing in the garden with that Brahmin's children. <laughs> so they were playing Gali Danda. You have a piece like this shape and you hit it with a stick and it jumps up and it's like Brajabasi baseball. <laughs> so first Madan, he won the game. So then the, the boy of the Brahmin, his name was Adan. He had to carry Madan on his shoulders because he was the loser. Sanatana Goswami was watching. They played again and this time Sadan won the game. And he said, oh Krishna, now you have to carry me on your shoulders. But Krishna ran away. And then the boy was chasing him. 
и мальчик бежал за ним. And then when he ran, Krishna ran into the temple room. А Кришна забежал в алтарную. And when the boy was running after, then Pujari stopped him, so you cannot go there. И потом Pujari в алтарную его остановил, сказал, ты дальше не можешь идти. Then the boy, I'll see you tomorrow. И мальчик погрозил Кришне, ну посмотришь у меня завтра. So now Tango Swami was watching with big eyes. So now Tango Swami в изумлении наблюдал за этой картиной. So he stayed there for some time. Он там пожил некоторое время. He saw that in the morning the the Chao Ben, the wife of the that Brahmin. И он увидел, что однажды утром Чао Бен. She woke up in the morning. Проснулась. And without taking a bath. Потянулась, не приняла мыть. She was cleaning her teeth. Зубы чистила. And she was cooking some kitchari for Madan Gopal. Какой-то кичар для Madan Gopala. And she was cleaning her teeth and then stirring with the same stick. Чистила зубы такой палочкой и этой же палочкой помешивала кичари. And then afterwards she gave to Madan. И потом дала Madanу. Madan Gopalу кушай кушай. So Madan goes why was thinking? So Madan Gopal. So Madan Gopal was thinking what? I'm supposed to write Hari Bhakti Vilas. I how can I write this? <laughs> it's a very big book on all the rules and regulations of deity worship. <laughs> so he went to that uh, Brahmin lady and said, actually, you should not serve the deity in this way. <laughs> there are some rules. So then the next morning, she woke up, she took a bath, she remembered her mantras, she put on the tilak. And Madan Gopa was crying. Oh, Mama, Mama, I'm hungry. Where's my kitchen? Then she was Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. And then Shri Sanatana Goswami realized, oh, I made a mistake. Но если так случилось, что Кришна бегает в вашем саду и играет с вашими детьми, так и быть можете как-то жить по-другому. So then at night Madan Gopal came in the dream of that Brahman. И тогда ночью Madan Gopal явился во сне этого Брамана. He said, I have had a very nice time here, but now I want to go to Brindavan with Sanatana Goswami. Он сказал, что So give me to him. О, мне мне было так хорошо с вами, но сейчас я должен отправиться во Вриндаван, Санатана и Госвами. Пожалуйста, передай меня ему. So then in the morning that Brahmin gave Madan Gopal to Sanatana Goswami. И тогда утром Брахман передал Madan Gopal Санатане и Госвами. Madan Goswami said, no, 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 you're not coming with me. И Санатана Госвами сказал, нет, нет, ты со мной не пойдешь. I don't have time. У меня нет времени. I have so many books to write. Мне книги писать надо. And I'm sleeping under one tree one night and one tree another night. I have no facility for you. You will not be comfortable. I can't cook for you nice preparations. Like they can. Я сплю одну ночь под этим деревом, другую ночь под другим деревом. У меня нечего себе предложить. Я, у меня нет возможности тебе готовить, как тебе здесь хорошо кормят. Chris said, please take me with you. Chris сказал, ну пожалуйста. I won't ask you for anything. Я не буду тебе ничего просить. I promise I will never ask for anything. Обещаю, никогда ни о чем не попрошу. So then, Sanatana Goswami, his heart melted. All right, come on. И сердце Санатаны Госвами смягчилось, он сказал, ну ладно, пойдем. And he brought Madan Gopal here to this place. И он принес Мадана Гопала в это место. Санатаны Госвами, Баджан Кутир is just behind there. He was staying in a small hut. Баджан Кутир, Санатаны Госвами, Госвами находится здесь. Это была хижина просто из листьев. And all day he was chanting and writing. Каждый день он воспевал и писал. He used to beg some flower. Он просил подаяние цветы. And mix it with some water and make it into a dough bowl. А, а, извините, муку они цветы. И просто муку смешивал с водой. Ата. И делал шарики. And then he would put the dough bowl in the fire. And it would cook. Actually, the outside would be burnt, and the inside would be still soft, like dough. And a part of it was cooked. Это был шарик из теста, который он просто ну ставил в огонь, и он не не равномерно пропекался. То есть покрывался корочкой, ну такой край, а внутри было сырое тесто. He was so detached. He would just eat a few of these offered to Madan Gopal, and then take Mahaprasad and these burnt dough balls. Он был настолько отрезан, что его просто удовлетворял. Он он принимал вот несколько, он предлагал Мадан Гупалу и принимал несколько таких сырых шариков и все. One day, 
Madan Gopal, he was eating. He said, this is very dry. <laughs> Do we have a little bit of salt? <laughs> so now Tango Swami, tears came in his eyes. Oh, I can't take care of Gopal. In the meantime, there was one very wealthy merchant. His name was Ram Das Kapoor. And he was traveling here on a boat along Jamuna. And you can see now the level of Jamuna has gone down and islands appear here and there. And his boat had got stuck on a sandbank. So he came off and he was asking, what should I do, what should I do, who can help me? They said, oh, Bada Baba can help you. Bada Baba. That means the great Baba, Sanatan Goswami. So he came to Sanatan Goswami Pad and told him his situation. Can you help me? They said you can help me. Sila Sanatan Goswami Pad said, I am insignificant, I cannot do anything. But Madan Gopal is supreme personality of God. So then he, that uh, Ram Das Kapoor prayed to Madan Gopal. And the level of the uh, Yamuna water went up and his boat became free. So then that wealthy merchant, he said, Oh, it's a miracle, it's a miracle. Oh, Sanatan Goswami. I'll give you anything, what do you want? So, Sanatan Goswami thought for a moment, he said, do you have some salt? <laughs> he said, I'm a salt merchant, my boat is full of salt. <laughs> so he went and came back with a packet of salt. <laughs> so then he continued on his journey, and uh, at that uh, time, the, the, there was a shortage of salt and the price of salt went very high and he made a very big profit in his journey. And then he came back here and with all of his profit, he constructed this temple for Madan Gopal. So now you may be saying, but wait a minute, this is Madan Mohan Temple. Why are you saying Madan Gopal? Radha Sange Yadabati Tada Madana Mohanaha Anyata Vishwamohopi Sakshad Madana Mohita Krishna is only Madan Mohan, so beautiful that he can bewilder the God of love when Radharani is by his side. Because if Radharani is not there, he's not Madan Mohan, he's Madan Mohit. He himself becomes confused and bewildered in love for Radhika in separation. Krishna Madan Mohan, он так прекрасен, что он может очаровать вообще любого совершенно в этом мире, только если рядом нет Радхарани. Потому что если Радика рядом с Кришной, то Кришна становится сам очарованным Радикой, Мадан Мохит. So his name was not Madan Mohan, because it was only him. And no Radhika at that time. So later, the uh, son of Pratipurudra Maharaj in Jagannath Puri, his name was Purushottam Jana, King Purushottam Jana. The ancestor of our friend, Divya Singh Dev, remember? Who was there when we made the program with the King of Puri? Yes, so his ancestor, he, the, uh, he had two deities uh, made of Radhika, one to send to Madan Mohan, 
and want to send to Govinda Day. So then they would become Radha Madan Mohan and Radha Govinda Day. So then those two deities of Radhika came. One was a little bit bigger for Govinda Day and one was a bit smaller for Madan Mohan. So first the two deities came here. And then the Pujari had a dream. Madan Mohan said, I'm keeping both of them. <laughs> because actually the smaller one is Radhika and the bigger one is Lalita Saki. <laughs> so here in the temple you see Radha Madan Mohan and a little bit bigger Lalita Saki also. So there are many beautiful pastimes of Madan Mohan. And if you look over the wall here you see a white dome and that is the Samadhi, the Maha Samadhi of Srila Sanatana Goswami Pai. So give you a pranam here. Oh, this hill is called Dwadasaditya Tila. Why? When Krishna came out from the water of Kaliarat soaking wet, then the sun god manifested his 12 forms, Dwadash Aditya. Mm -hmm. And gave heat and warmed Krishna. And then Krishna was perspiring. And his perspiration ran down the hill. That's where I live there. That temple there. That is called Prashkandan Tirtha. The place where a lake was made from the perspiration of Krishna. And it is surrounded by forests of red roses. And this is where Krishna comes when he wants to write a love letter to Radharani. He tells Madhu Mangal, pick these roses and squash the leaves and squeeze out the red juice because that's more romantic to write the letter in rose juice. <laughs> Colorful and fragrant. So just when see Krishna was writing his love letter to Radharani, then Radharani by chance came here and this Prashkandan Tirtha is considered to be the first meeting place of Radha Krishna. Their first love is here. So Sila Rupa Goswami Pad has described that beautiful pastime in his Vidagda Madhav Natakam. So now, oh, another glory of this place. There are so many, it will take all day. Then we'll never finish up our job. But one more I cannot forget. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Sanatana Goswami, go to Vrindavan and make a place for me, I'm coming soon. So Sanatana Goswami went everywhere and he decided this is the Dwadashiditya Tila, the highest point of Vrindavan, is the most beautiful place and I'll make a kutir for Mahaprabhu to stay here. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never came. And so this is the place where Sanatana Goswami is sitting and weeping and feeling intense separation. Oh Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when will you come? When will you come? И это самое место, в котором Шри, э, Шрила Санатана Госвами э, сидит и плачет от разлуки. Когда же ты придешь, Шри Читания Махапрабху? So now we'll go and take darshan of Madan Mohan and then go down the hill to the tree of Advaita Acharya. Uh, и сейчас мы увидим даршан Мадана Мохана и увидим дерево, под которым совершал Баджан Адвайта Ачарья. Си-си, Рада Мадан Мохан Джуки!